Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Georgie Man and I'm your friendly neighborhood anime and manga fan. I love all things anime and all things manga and I'm here today to talk about Hunter x Hunter chapter 405. So, why did I think about this week's chapter? To be completely frank with you guys, I thought this week's chapter was fantastic because we get to see more developments with the fandom troop as well as what Hisoka has been, uh, you know, chilling and what he's been up to this whole entire time as well as we get to see some more Reina and what she's plotting right now in her revenge to get at Hyde Ride and everybody, pretty much all her enemies and pretty much we see how the standing is between, you know, Mr. Wang and the fandom troop and you see how they're ready to go to war no matter what as well as pretty much how... Prolo is, you know, enticing a plan to take down Hisoka. Now, before I go any farther with this week's chapter, I just want to give you guys a quick reminder to make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you guys can be up to date with all my Hunter x Hunter as well as all my anime and manga content that I'll be providing in this channel. It really helps out a lot and I would really, really, really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to my YouTube channel. So if you guys could, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, with all that being said, let's get into this week's chapter. So how this week's chapter starts off is actually in a surprising note where we actually pick up uh, as soon as the chapter starts we with Hisoka. And she, he's just gambling. My man is just vibing. And this was cool. Like, my man's playing, like, some Texas variation. It's like, you know, I, I only know, like, uh, Texas Hold'em. I don't know poker. But he was playing cards. And I guess he had a broken hand or something. Uh, any fans of this particular card game, let me know how broken his hand was. <laughs> but we see pretty much he's just vibing and enjoying himself. And he's like, okay, well, I gotta find the Phantom Troop. Where are they at? And, like, he's just like, uh. But he's kind of, like, mom, like, just wandering around. Like, no real sense of direction. Just kind of you know seeing if they show up I'll, sh I'll fight them and whatever and we also see some inner you know thoughts of him where he's talking about how you know with the ant conflict he didn't really care about it and you know this whole uh group dynamic of the kings and princesses he doesn't care about it either he just wants to fight a 1v1 and i like the the quote that he does i think he says something along the lines like you know animals and group play are not my kings <laughs> and that was such a funny quote it's coming from hisoka you know the the weirdest and most uh you know crazy person out there <laughs> but what happens is pretty much as he's wandering around you see another hisoka and he's like oh man i almost got caught and then this is the big revelation where we had the the actual revelation here is that there's been two hisokas uh the hisoka that we had seen in the previous chapters wasn't the real hisoka if anything it was benelobo oh uh, i think that's his name benelobo benelob uh, whatever his name is the guy with the you know the wraps everywhere with the punching like the boxing gloves from the phantom troop you know, this guy, uh, I believe his nan ability is that he can chain shift to look like somebody. So uh, he made himself look like Hisoka. And apparently uh, when he interacted with Heinrich as well as, you know, the other people that were, you know, you know, tested to take down Hisoka with the punch and everything to get the real, real uh, read the head, like their thoughts. Uh, apparently that was the fake Hisoka. So this entire time, the previous chapters we had seen Hisoka, that wasn't even him. So that was a crazy revelation by, uh, you know, Togashi. My man is just in a row my man keeps throwing all these you know plot twists left and right and i'm all here for it i love it and we see that he there was actually uh you know a talk where he you know shows his ability and he is now currently disguised because he saw hisoka there he changed his form to look uh like Al. if you guys don't remember with him he was one of the shadow bees from like york new city it took me a second i was like wait um he looks familiar and then i did some research and yeah he's Al, i believe he's or not Al, but he's looking like Al to you know to blend in and why not and we see that pretty much uh, as he's wandering around the ship, you know, he there's a flashback where him and Krola were talking and Krola's just like, listen, your plan is to, you know, wander around like Hisoka, get more information. And if you do stumble upon him, change shift to, you know, look like someone else and, you know, we'll take him from there. Like, you know, don't don't indulge him at all. We're going to try to jump him. <laughs> and you see Krola, like my man, obviously he has a grudge against Hisoka because what had to happen with, uh, you know the other two phantom troop members that hisoka murdered so he's trying to go you know after hisoka's head and it's understandable and we see that pretty much uh the chapter as it continues we see that the real hisoka is just like vibing around like i said and the the fake one vanilla boat or whatever he's just like oh man this kind of sucks like i guess uh i'm gonna wander around and in the background we see that there's uh, the announcement of um hulkenberg's death that, that was hinted at last week and we see that this announcement happens and um, my, my question here is uh, if you guys can answer in the comment section down below i'm a little confused is the corolla walking around in that panel is that supposed to be benelope uh benelope i can't even say his name but is it supposed to be him or is it supposed to be the real corolla because what i would do is actually disguise myself as corolla if i was benelope and you know lures hisoka out and once he does come out like attack like, like all of us jump him or something i don't know that's just my plan uh but another thing that i wanted to note is um i wonder if 
you know, Hisoka will actually murder this guy. Like, will he actually, like, eliminate him? Or... It's a deadly game right now. My man is playing a, de a deadly gamble because, you know, he's just wandering around. If he's looking like Krolo, if, and that's a big if, he's looking like Krolo. Um, you know, Hisoka pulls up, kills him, or maybe he gets ambiguous. Uh, he gets very um, carried away and he tries to fight Hisoka by himself. He's going to get demolished. So I'm very excited to see how this plays out with the Phantom Troop and Hisoka. And talking about the Phantom Troop, the next section of the chapter is where they're talking with the Mafia uh, people that they had been associated with, Mr. Wang. Uh, and they're talking about how to take down Morena and they're like, oh, we don't really know her purpose just yet. Like, what is she going on about? And, you know, Mr. Wang fills them in is like, oh, her plan is just to like eliminate everybody. Like, that's that's her big plan. Like, just literally, you know, control chaos and, you know, take the crown that way. Like, just eliminate everybody. And we see that pretty much as that's happening. You know, the fan troop is like, all right, bet they want to throw down. Let's throw down, bro. I don't care. Like, the, all their assassins seem pretty dumb. Uh, they went pretty straightforward. Uh, but they do discuss that Morena probably is the one that's like uh, luring them to like she's the one that makes the blueprints for the plants like okay we're gonna do this this and that but she doesn't give them like uh, bullet points she doesn't give them like okay do exactly this 100% she's just like okay uh, you'll do this and that's it no finer details you, you can take it from there and hence what that's what happened with the guy with the wall that tried to fight the fender troop they got it now annihilated so uh, they're you know uh, they're just like yeah, they're gonna get bodied, <laughs> and we're gonna body them. Uh, Nobunaga is like, okay, let's go, and we see uh, Phaeton, uh, Finks, and uh, Nobunaga. They're like, all right, let's let's square up. And an interesting thing to note is that Mr. Wang, he's like, okay, Morena, it's time to, that you use your uh, you know your Joker card. It might be dangerous here. And I'm wondering here is okay, why is he concerned about Morena? Is he a mole? Is this like a departed? If you guys seen the movie, is this like a mole, like a secret agent? uh double like he's playing both sides like what's going on with this guy so keep an eye on him uh because i'm definitely keeping an eye on mr wang after this uh little comment he made about the you know morena's joker and then after that we catch up with uh, morena and she's in her hideout base with her wrestler looking guy like and what i mean by that is like it's like a big guy with a mask <laughs> and this you know there if you guys remember her whole thing is in her hideout she's trying to make her combatants level up and Apparently, this guy's nan ability has leveled up to the point that now he can, like, sense people's nans from five miles away just from smelling it or something. Um, not really that important stuff. We do see some plot threads being developed where we see, we see that her, uh, you know, her crew, they're like, okay, man, we got to level up. We're going to keep getting stronger and stronger. And then we'll just annihilate everybody. And we see that pretty much uh, the other people that she's talking about is like, okay, they've been leveling up too, right? It's like, yeah, they have. They want revenge. And these are the people that, you know, they feel embarrassed by Heinrich uh, in the previous chapters. Uh, if you guys remember from like two years ago, <laughs> um, Heinrich had embarrassed them like pretty much by easily defeating them. So they want revenge and um, they obviously want to take down Heinrich. You know, they want to get revenge for what he's done. Uh, and as the chapter ends, we see that the Phantom Troop are approaching, like they talk to this guy and this guy's like uh, an associate of Mr. Wang's or something. He's going to help them out. The ma he's like... The, fa the, the mafia fully supports you guys take down morena and we see that this guy opens his door and then there you see the nobunaga things and fate they're like okay and as soon as they enter the, like or they're about to enter this place they're like what's going on because the guy's like okay don't freak out but there's gonna be a little weird and then you see the fans trip just being like what what is this what am i looking at um so that's how the chapter ends and i'm wondering like what's it what exactly is going down here um like what 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 is the why are they freaking out really <laughs> um my best guess is might be that maybe maybe knob is there in his dimension wall thing might be like freaking them out like what is this then ability i don't know i'm just throwing it out there i don't even know what's going down right now uh, i do know that i'm very excited to see hisoka um and the real hisoka at least and pretty much the whole plot thread of krolo being there and how hisoka just wants to go for the 1v1 and annihilate him so i'm really excited because now it's you know it's hunting season for Hisoka and, and so, as well as the Phantom Troop. And I can't wait to see how they develop this big confrontation later on in the story. But with all that being said, what did you guys think about this week's chapter? Did you guys love it? Did you guys hate it? Did you guys thought it was all right? Whatever you guys thought, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Hunter Hunter as well as more anime and manga content in the near future. But yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.